to the next race, which is a class two. It's over 1,800 metres. Elusive Stakes back onto the turf. Blinkers again uh, added to his gear. Reliable team blinkers off. The cheek pieces go on. Down to four, Lakeshore Eagle. First time to 1,800 metres and blinkers for the first time. Righteous Doctrine, his turf win was track and distance. Packing Waltham, the seven, Chartin Debut, who was a three-time winner in France over 1,800 and twice at 2,000 metres. Tianchi Monza placed behind excellent proposal. His last look at Chartin, Golden Spectrum, the 10, has the hood on and winning delight returns. His first start since March and he's had four trials to get ready for this out of the Casper Founds barn. Golden Spectrum, winning delight and in Richmond. Graham, 10, 11 and 12 have been to Chungfa. Mm, I think winning delight's the most interesting member of that trio. This could be messy. It's a tough handicap to begin with. Uh, add in, factor in that it may well be run at a stop-start gallop. Rival team uh, can race a bit freely, but he's likely to go forward with amazing beats. As regards the hold-up horses, Righteous Doctrine can come home strongly from off the pace. Elusive State likewise, but is he as good on the green stuff as he is on the dirt? I don't think so. This horse is going better than his form suggests. His form looks terrible when you're looking at it um, on paper, but look, the horse is going nicely at the track. He comes back to Chartin, which I think is a good thing for this horse. He's not really suited by Happy Valley, and they did draw it wide on one of those occasions, so give him another chance. Packing Waltham only had the one run here in Hong Kong, and it was a good run. He got back, he ran on late, so he seems to have come on. That's the one in front there. Golden Spectrum's in a, another race. Oh, no, this race as well, so he's a rival. Uh, they're both in here. And then Tianzi Monster, look, he's gone really well this season. And he's another one coming back to Sha Tin. Uh, he's got barrier number two. And his work's been really good as well leading into this race. So nice races for the, over the 1800. Okay, Paul, now our first replay is off the all weather. And this is a late patch, Graham. He absolutely destroys this field. The trouble for him, though, all his form has been on this surface. Yeah, uh, Matthew Poon was on board this day. Get well soon, Matthew. Uh, he destroyed a pretty handy field of handicappers here, Elite Patch. But the question is, is he as good on grass? And the answer is probably not. In addition, the handicapper has banged him up £10, Paul. It's a very different equation for Elite Patch this time around. So he's got to come into Class 2 against some seasoned turf gallopers. You know, he's a victim of a success on the all-weather because he's gone up those £10 and now he's got to run against these horses. So, uh, look, no, not for me. 14 to 1 in betting early for a late patch. Now here's TNG Monster in Richmond out wide, enjoying in the centre. And Paul Packing Waltham, this was his debut. He was a little slow out and he'll make his shunt in debut. Yeah, no, it was a nice run from him, I thought, uh, Packy Waltham. Uh, look, um, TNG Monster as well, uh, he went nicely. I mean, this is. They're coming now to uh, Chartin, so it's a different kettle of fish. I think both these horses will be better suited here at Chartin. Yeah, Tianchi Monster's just running really well. Enjoying will definitely be better at Chartin. The one thing we haven't mentioned, two things maybe, really good fourth in last year's Classic Cup, and this Sunday at Chartin, over a suitable trip, he gets Jerry Chow for the first time. So plenty of reason to think that Enjoying is slowly coming to hand now. A great run at the moment is Jerry Chow. His Tianchi Monster, Graham. I think we go off the Sha Tim form around him, maybe more so than Happy Valley. Yeah, this was a good quality handicap. The winner, excellent proposal, would be high on anyone's Derby shortlist at the moment. Yellow Colours, Hoop Cap, darting around for a run towards the inside. Righteous Doctrine, slightly unlucky. I think he's a big player this weekend. Tianchi Monster just comes up against a super progressive horse, Paul. There's nothing wrong whatsoever in defeat. No, and prior to this, he was a winner. He's really going well, this horse. Um, he had a, sort of an off-season last season, but he's really put it together now. And uh, some horses can do that once they just, uh, that, you know, they get a bit more mature and uh, that they start to win. So I like him again. He's a decent price too. I think he can win. Winning delight, Paul. He hasn't been seen since March. He was good enough to win two from nine. He's had four trials. This one is a second at Happy Valley. What'd you make of the trial? Yeah, the trial wasn't too bad. He, he hit the line nice enough. The little query I've got with him is he's put on 37 pounds. So I don't know if he's totally tuned up for this, but he's had four trials on the on the offside to, to get him ready. So um, I was a little bit uh, perplexed with him. The trial was good, but just with that weight increase, just put me off a little bit. Yeah, that, that's interesting, the weight increase. Um, he ran really well at Chartin on Derby Day, but he bled and didn't run again afterwards. That trial was really good. I really like the two horses he split, uh, Maximus and Berlin Tango, so I have to have him in the numbers with Joe aboard. 
you're a monster man, Paul. Yeah, I've got him on top. I'm going to make him the best, actually, because I think he's a really nice handicapped horse. He, look, his win was off 80. He's up to 84, but he keeps improving this horse. He's currently a 9-to-1 chance, so I've got win there, but if he stays at, he's definitely an each-way price. So uh, at the price, I'm happy to take him. Uh, Packing Waltham, I've got him there for second. I think he's an improver. Uh, Righteous Doctor, and we saw him dart on the inside. And Enjoying, uh, he's come up quite short Enjoying. He's got no form when you look at him uh, recently. But uh, fourth up now, I think he's ready to run a really good race. Eight, seven, five, and three. Mm, I, I didn't find room for enjoying it. It's slightly annoying me because I love that Jerry Chow claim angle. Uh, in the absence of enjoying, I've gone five, 11, eight, two. Righteous Doctrine, two of his last three runs, turf runs, have been really good. Winning Delight um, looked very good in his trial. Tianchi Monster, uh, tailor made for a race like this. And Reliable Team, if he relaxes a bit better in front this time can add some value. But win in place, number five. It's a wide open race, race six.